I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find limit of a rational function as we approach a point of discontinuity. In all these three examples we'll follow the same strategy and so I'd like you to pause the video and solve the question once you have understood the strategy. Let's begin with the first one which is limit of x square minus 1 divided by x plus 1 as x approaches minus 1. If I substitute minus 1 in the given function, what do I get? If I substitute, what I get here is minus 1 square is 1. I get 1 over 1 divided by minus 1 plus 1, which is 0 over 0. Now, by substituting, we get 0 over 0, right? And that is what happens in the other two examples also. So it clearly indicates that by substitution we cannot find the limit of the function and there is a discontinuity at x equals to minus 1. However, we can always find limit of the function as x approaches 1 since limit is not the value of function at that point but what value the function approaches. That is the critical thing to understand, right? So let's factor and get rid of the factor. <coughs> and get rid of the factor which cost 0 over 0. So what we will do now is factor both numerator and denominator. In this case, denominator is already factored. The numerator can be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1 and we have x plus 1 here. You can see that there is a common factor which cost 0 over 0, x minus 1, right? So if I substitute, oh, sorry, I should have cancelled the other one. So this is the one which gets cancelled. This is okay. So when I substitute x equals to minus 1, then the first factor becomes 0 and the denominator becomes 0. Now factoring makes it very clear. So we can write this function as limit of the function x minus 1, right, where x is approaching minus 1. Since we cancelled, we should write that x is not equal to minus 1, correct? Now when we are approaching minus 1, very close to that point, we can find what value we are approaching by substituting minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 here, what do I get? I get minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. So that is the answer, right? So you can follow the same strategy here also. So if I substitute 5 here, I get 5 square minus 25. 5 square is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. And 5 minus 5 is also 0, right? So you see this is of 0 over 0 form. And therefore, we should actually factor the numerator in this case and find the answer. So it should be numerator is x square minus 25. We can write this as x plus 25, sorry, x plus 5 times x minus 5 divided by x minus 5, correct? Now x minus 5 is a common factor which can be cancelled. So we are left with limit x approaches 5 for the function x plus 5, right? Now you can substitute 5 here you get 5 plus 5 as 10, your answer, right? The last one is x approaching minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is also 9, right? So, so we'll factor first because substitution is not giving us the solution. So we get x plus 3 times x minus 3 divided by x plus 3, right? Now x plus 3, x plus 3 cancels. We are left with limit as x approaches minus 3 of x minus 3. When you substitute minus 3, you get minus 3 minus 3, which is minus 6. So that is how you find limit of rational function, where 0 over 0 is what you get after substitution. It indicates a common factor, and therefore factorization is the key. So in such cases where you get 0 over 0, 
factorization is the key. Factor both numerator and denominator, get rid of the factor which caused 0 over 0, then find the limit of the function as it approaches the given value. So that is what we learn here. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you.